guys. How's it going today? Um, you might notice a little something new. <laughs> yes, my hair has officially gone into hiding for this winter season. And it's my first time trying out a little quick weave. <laughs> Thank you, Brittany, for bringing it yesterday. So, yeah. Um, busy, busy, busy. I don't know why I like my hair on one side, but yeah, I do that with my own hair too. But anyway, so yeah, here I am, um, trying out this little quick weave or whatever, and I'm just like, okay, you know, I'm not hating it. <laughs> my husband came home yesterday and, um, I had to restrain myself from going, Tu señora no está. But Belinda, aquí. <laughs> so yeah, that's the name of uh, this quick weave, you guys. It's Belinda. I'm not going to turn into one of those people who uh, talk about their weaves like they're people, though. So yeah, I'm not going to say she is anything because she is hair. So yes. No offense to anyone if you do that. But yes, I'm not going to do that. So um, yeah. Um couple things I wanted to talk about today because my time has just been so minimized. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but um, those who know me personally know this, that I work from home, and so that's been keeping me very busy. Someone's coming in my door. <laughs> I'm making a video. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I work from home, and that's been keeping me very busy, and um, Yes, uh, a little person has entered the room. <laughs> what are you doing in here? I said I'm making a video. Go back in there with your sister. I got um, a few questions at least uh, last week that I still have not answered. Bye. <laughs> See you later. Close the door. <laughs> Bye. Never fails. Anyway, um, one question that I remember off the top of my head was, um, God, what is the girl's name? Um, what is the girl's name? I had to go run and find out, uh, remember what the chick's name was. Kendra. Kendra. You guys know Kendra from, um, what was the show? Uh, The Girls Next Door with the Playboy Bunnies. Anyway, Kendra. Um, yeah, I had started watching Kendra's show sometime last year, and, you know, after, uh, the wedding episode, you know, I stopped watching it. But, um, yeah. I like Kendra. I think she's cool. She's like... Like, one of the most ghetto white girls I've ever seen, like, when her show's coming on and she does a little thing where she's popping it, and I'm always like, go Kendra! <laughs> but anyway, um, the question was, how do I feel about, you know, Kendra, you know, being a single mom or whatever? So I had to go research this right quick, and I was like, oh, okay, so her and her husband, they're not, like, divorcing or anything, it's just that, um... You know, he got picked up by a different team, and, you know, she doesn't want to move out there, and so they're basically living in separate states. And I'm just like, oh, that sucks. That sucks a lot. Um, I actually um, know a young lady who does this with her husband, actually. They live in separate states right now, and they're doing just fine. Um, they see each other whenever possible, and, you know, they have kids, too. And the kids stay with her, and her husband's working, and, you know, they come together whenever they can. And, you know, there you go. It's working fine. So, I think Kendra can do it. Thank God she only has one kid. And, yeah, I think she'll be alright. Once her and her husband get back together, it'll be bliss. So, yeah. And also, 
Another question that I had was about music. Okay, music, music, music. I was thinking to myself, I was thinking this maybe two or three weeks ago, like the week before Thanksgiving, whenever that was. I was like, man, what happened to the music that we could listen to in front of our children? Because back in the day when I was a kid, you know, my parents had that old school music that she, you know, do your little two-step with. And everything is over your head. If they're talking about sex, the kids would never know because, you know, it wasn't blatant like that, like it is today. And, you know, the music that is played on the radio today, I'm just like, dang. You know, oh, this song is jamming, but I can't play this in front of my kids. <laughs> you know, sometimes I'll be driving down the street, but my head, I'm just like, wait, I got kids in the backseat. I got to turn this off. And, um... My niece actually, uh, she's into like rock and roll and stuff, so that's her thing. And I was asking her about, you know, her favorite band, and she was telling me like some of the lyrics to their song, and I was like, whoa, 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 come on, I just ate. <laughs> that's how I felt when she was telling me about the lyrics to her song. I was just like, and you listen to this? Like, why, why are you listening to this? What? Oh my goodness. Interruptions. Never hurt. Never, never fails. That's what I'm trying to say. See, when my kids come in, it's just like my brain just goes mush. Now someone's knocking on my door. All right, you guys. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. You can expect constant interruptions when, you know, you have kids. So, anyway, what was I saying? Music. Oh, my God. Yes, I said, oh my God. Because that is the only person that I can reach out to <laughs> when it comes to this music stuff. Because it is just crazy, the stuff that, that even we listen to. You know, it's one thing what the kids are listening to these days, but the stuff we listen to is not that much better. It's really not. I'm just like, man, you know, rap music, I used to be a very big fan of rap music. Now, the stuff that they're playing today, I can't even really listen to it because I just, I don't consider it music. Um, so yeah, I just want to say like, be careful what you're listening to because you're pumping your brain full of all kind of just raunchiness and just, ugh, I can't even, there's no word for it. It's just all kind of uh, unholiness <laughs> that you're just pumping into your brain. So. And me, I'm one of those people who's like really good with lyrics. I pick up on lyrics probably like the first time that I hear a song. And so, um, when I figure out what you're talking about, I'm just like, oh god. <laughs> Next! <laughs> because the lyrics are just crazy. The lyrics are crazy. And really, um, explicit. There you go, that's the word. The lyrics are so explicit, and even though they bleep it out on the radio, uh, I don't know who, who took over the bleeping since I was a kid, but um, when they're bleeping on the radio these days, I can totally understand what word has been bleeped, and so what's the point of the bleeping? And I guess they do it that way to not change the song too much, but I'm just like, man, it, it just... <sighs> Everything is becoming um, desensitized, where it's like, you know, things that used to offend us or offend our parents back in the day, now it's just everywhere. So basically that's what you can expect because the world is just going that way. How I got off on that, I don't know. But yeah, that's basically the way that the world is going because the music is getting raunchier, the movies are getting raunchier, TV is getting raunchier. I'm just like, they say bitch on TV now. Um, excuse me for <laughs> anyone who, who uh, <laughs> this type of language offends them. I understand. I'm sorry. But uh, that was just an example of, you know, basically the way the world is going today. So yeah. Um... Didn't mean to get into all that, but that was the question that was posed. So, yeah. Um, I don't remember any of the other questions. I'm sorry, you guys. I was planning on answering them all in one video, but I guess I'm not going to get around to that because my brain has just, you know, my kids coming in and out, and it just, it's gone. So, um, I will do another video, and I'll probably have my little 
quick weaver. <laughs> and um, update you guys on the questions that you asked me in the last few weeks that I have not gotten around to answering yet because of my crazy work schedule. So yeah, I keep flipping my hair because it's just like, it's unsettling to me to have all this on, you know? You know, my hair in real life is probably like uh, this length, but you know, not not curled, obviously. I mean, straight is this length. This hair is curly and it's this length. So obviously it goes down further than that. It probably looks like right here. And my actual hair is like up here. So yeah, it's just unsettling to me. And um, <laughs> that's why I keep messing with it because this is just like looking in the mirror. It's like, oh, hey, hey, I forget that there are people watching me on YouTube. <laughs> anyway, you guys. Um, I gotta go, so I guess I'll answer uh, the rest of the questions uh, in my next video. I'm so sorry that I forgot, but like I said, constant interruption just makes your brain just go crazy. So, um, yes, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys shortly. Um, as you can see, I'm in my guest room because it's just so much easier to just come in here because then I'm not in the kids' room, I'm not in my room, I'm not in the living room. I can kind of have some peace of quiet, but you see that didn't work out for me today. But, um, yeah. Alright, so I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, take care. Um, happy holidays. 